so in the last class we have discussed about various kinds of semantic checks we perform in a in during semantic analysis and we have seen that the uh, checks can be classified into two categories one is called scope resolution checks uh, that is for example whether a variable has been defined which is getting used or uh, another kind of, the other type of checks is called type checks okay where the we see that we check the uh, for a given statement whether the left hand side and the right hand side are of same type okay so today we'll discuss about scope resolution in semantic analysis and for doing that we basically use a data structure called as symbol table so symbol table is nothing but a map it can be you can uh, means while coding you can represent it as a, a hash table or a std map kind of thing and it basically contains the information of a given declaration okay now the information of a given declaration is is called as symbol table entry entry node okay so basically symbol table is a map where the key is the symbol name and the value is a symbol table entry node okay and uh, what does the symbol table entry node contains so it contains the information about a given symbol so we can say first the name of the symbol then the type of the variable and certain extra attribute values okay so for example suppose i say that i have a declaration extern int a then what will be uh, so the symbol table entry node will contain this thing so first the name will be a then the uh, type will be integer type and the attribute list contains an attribute called as extern okay specifying that it is a extern kind of integer variable okay so for every scope we create a symbol table so you can say that so in every scope we create this map and store the information of the given variable now the question comes how we capture the scope information okay so what we do is basically we create a hierarchy tree where every node of this hierarchy tree represents a scope okay so suppose for example so this is one scope so so let me number it as one in one there are two scopes suppose okay so every scope is represented by a left parent and a closing bracket right parents so this is scope number 2 and this is scope number 3 then this uh, scope information of the program we represent it as a hierarchy tree where this is one and one has two child two and three and for every node we create a symbol table so this is called sim table for scope 1 this is for symbol table for scope 2 and this is for symbol table for scope 3 okay so let us now try to see through a small example suppose I have this program okay so uh, let me mark it so here 
So here, uh, this is a global declaration. I can say, just a second. This is a global declaration. And this is a function declaration within which there are two, again, two scopes, okay, two inner scopes. And there is again another function declaration G, okay. This we represent it through, uh, let me change the color, make it as a blue or brown. So we represent it as a uh, hierarchy tree where every node represents a symbol table. So this is my global symbol table. So my global symbol table will contain what? It will contain the global variable declaration X, the function declaration F and G, okay? And each entry, as I have already said, that okay, uh, we symbol table entry, we contain the symbol name, the symbol type, and symbol type is a variable type also, and its kind type is integer, and its kind is variable type. Okay. Similarly, this f is a function declaration, and of uh, which returns an integer type, uh, which returns a void and takes an integer argument. Okay. Similarly, within this uh, global symbol table, we'll have two children, okay? One is for the symbol table of F and another is the symbol table of G, okay? Understood? So, this left-hand side contains the inner scope. That means the symbol table scope for the function declaration F. So, F will contain, symbol table for F will contain what? It will contain the formal argument m okay and it will contain the two variables x and y okay and it will contain the symbol table for the inner scopes understood so it will contain the symbol table for this declaration and for this declaration so in this way we create the hierarchy of symbol table understood now the question comes how we perform the semantic check or how we uh, so so this data structure is stored in the semantic analyzer and whenever a given variable is used we traverse this hierarchy tree and search for a given symbol in the given symbol table so there must be some algorithm okay so for example here there is a global variable x and also there is a local variable x. So if I am within a function scope, then which uh, variable declaration I should map this symbol? Okay, that is the question. So, so the algorithm for, let me write it down. So the algorithm for searching A symbol definition is we start from the current scope and we try to go up the hierarchy tree And we try to find out, look up for the given symbol in the table. And if we do not find till uh, we reach this global symbol table, then we report an error. Understood? Suppose, for example, in this function declaration, suppose I have int i j and i write x is equal to 1 so for the here only okay and in the other scope i have int x and i write i is equal to 2 so when i am in this scope so suppose i am in this scope so when i am uh, uh, you 
looking for a symbol uses in this statement i is equal to 2 so i look so my current scope is this one okay so i first search for i in this scope i didn't find it so i go up the hierarchy and i look for the symbol i in the function declaration symbol table so here also i didn't find then i go up the hierarchy and i look for the symbol i in the global symbol table here also i didn't find and hence i report a semantic error understood so whenever so whenever any uses of a given variable i start from the current scope and go up the hierarchy till the global symbol table to oh, to see for the to look for the declaration of the given symbol okay so from this uh, so let us try to answer some questions some quiz like what suppose i uh, suppose the question is asked to design a symbol table okay so what will be the class structure and what will be what will be the main operation can you please tell me so main operation that a symbol table should have okay so a symbol table should have so uh, should have first what there is a, there should be an insert function what this insert function uh, does it takes an symbol table entry node and put it in the map so a insert function also checks whether that given symbol already exists in the given symbol table or not so suppose i have int i and again i write int i then then first int i declaration it would have inserted the symbol i and then it again it encounters the same uh, another declaration with the same name i and hence it will not insert but it will flag a semantic error understood Similarly, there is another function called lookup. So this lookup function, what it does, it look up, it looks in the current scope. So, so this operation is called lookup. So it first checks in the current scope whether this variable, the, whether this symbol exists in the symbol table or not. And if it is not, then it go up the hierarchy and checks for the existence of the given symbol. Okay. So second, uh, so in this way we we first create the AST by syntax analyzer or the parser and then we traverse the AST to check for declarations and from there we create the symbol table. Understood? And in this way the scope resolution happens in a symbol table. Okay, thanks.